Hi guys, it's a beautiful day once again and welcome back to Dexter's World Channel. I just had my early Sunday morning ride and it's really very enjoyable. Of course with full gear, I just uh, went to the market and buy something for our pets. And today's video, allow me to give you an update about the mud pond that we are trying to complete. And actually, this is a heavy task for our staff because this is the greatest mud pond that we're gonna dig. And I'd like to let you see here that we are almost uh, done, 90% or maybe 80%. And you will see the beauty of this uh, mud pond because the water is just dripping naturally underneath the ground. And of course, this area is hilly going down here. And I think the water, since it's rainy season, I don't know if this will continue to drip even during summer but I believe that since this is a rainy season uh, there were typhoons actually that we experienced and this is maybe the reason but if it will drip even during summer then that would be the greatest thing to know because we don't worry about water anymore you look at down here this water is gradually dripping and it filled this particular portion over here i'm so happy with this that's the reason why we were able to successfully have this mud pan without putting so much water because there are actually water that will spring from the bottom of it my intention now is to complete this one for this week and then we're gonna load our Platinum Japanese Koi. You know, these Platinum Japanese Koi are very saleable. Also, I would like to make an update about our wooden tank over there. I'd like you to see our wooden tank here. And this is still very good for our fish but i'm thinking about the expenses that we're gonna incur if we will continue on with this uh, kind of setup i dry this up because of the electric consumption well you know that here in our place the you know electric uh, kilowatt uh, use is very high that we have to think of ways on how to minimize our expenses with the electricity because we need so much of this filtration system 24 7 we have to function our air pump and aside from the air pump we will function our submersible pump for the filtration system and i already have explained to you the mechanics of this tank so i relax a little bit because this is business since uh, this is business we will think of the profit and the balance between the inputs that we have spent and the amount of money that we can gain so i decided in order to maximize our capital we will dig the mud pond where there is a natural spring of water and then initially i also had this idea of a concrete tank over here but today I have to say that we will not anymore use this one. We will dismantle and demolish everything that we have started here. Well, in life, that's uh, tolerable. There are times that we can commit mistakes and errors because it should have been a good tank over here. But we experienced this landslide and the very heavy downpour that our concrete tank had collapsed. So this is 
also the reason why we are guided to just decide to make a mud bun. I'd like to make an update also about the business. This is an encouragement, of course, that we make a vlog and we do business and you know we discover things we innovate so that is why we are always changing our decision and yes i i would like to say that it's it's our experience that teaches us good lessons so now i can let you see that we are about to transport this uh, fish toto can you help me we will put this down and you will see that we have here so many Japanese koi that we are about to transport. Can we carry this one and show this to the camera? So these are the Japanese koi that we're gonna, you know, uh, bring to the pet store. And you know that though they are crowded inside the plastic, they are not gasping for breath because the air here is the oxygen. It contains oxygen. So we'll put this back slowly. Okay, that's it. And uh, this is our supply for the whole week. I made a restocking of our fish because I have to go to a far place, far from here. It's in Davao City actually for a seminar. I have to attend a seminar related to my work. And this is the reason why we have to restock our supply of fish. And then our staff will take care of everything. So I have here, as you know, three big tanks. This is not actually deep. You will see the depthness of this. It's just around, see that? It's just around two feet, you know? Or less than two feet. And you will see that this tank is a concrete tank that's filled with the babies of this platinum koi. And this is not the permanent place for them because we're gonna raise them for 10 days only here and after 10 days we're gonna throw them to the mud pond that we are actually digging now and uh, i just like to make a, an update about their size because when the first time we put them here you will see them very tiny very small and now they're already so big these are the platinum ones that we can in the future sell in the market they're hype in platinum i'm so much uh, amazed with the kind of growth that we were able to do with the system that we are actually uh, doing here maybe you're interested about the diet well i am not anymore giving them live food but what i'm giving them is this uh, wheat germ okay I li i'd like to let you see the feeds of our baby koi. this is a wheat germ and this is good for the fish especially the baby fish because it has some fiber and it will allow them to digest their food and uh, from time to time of course i'm giving them the dapnia but the main diet now is the pellet and this wheat germ i'd like to mention about the the filter because this filter is a very simple yet very effective way on how to um, refrain or uh, protect our fish from the ammonia so I'd like to lift this one for you to see this because uh, Toto will help us just like that okay oh you can just put that here oh see these are our future sand and stone nothing more nothing less i made a slice over here all over just to have a free flow of the inflow and the outflow of water brought by the pressure of this uh, air pump simply sand and stones we don't anymore have artificial media here just the sand and the stone so we will bring this down bring this down and uh, it now gives good protection to our fish i already have told you about this we made a video on how to do this one and maybe you can also try this one because this is very effective and maybe you will next question will be dexter will this be good for 
a long period of time since you're overcrowding your your fish tank and with the use of the air pump and the submersible you know uh, filter backs would this be enough for us to be able to grow them my answer is no as what I have told you they will stay here only for 10 days or maybe 12 or 15 days and then after this one uh, we're gonna think of transferring them to a bigger size more comfortable where they can grow very fast and they can of course develop their colors and their bodies because if you will put them in a big space big space like the mud pan they can swim eat natural food and of course digest their food and then they will grow very fast especially if that is exposed to a high temperature you will see that all our mud pans have no covering because the sunlight is one of the most important factors to grow our fish why because it will produce high temperature of the water and then if the water temperature is high they can digest their food and of course they can grow fast and they will be freed from all sicknesses that may develop inside the tank the best way in how to do this is to provide them with good mud pan or a concrete tank with good filtration system Well, you know that we have just acquired a new property and this property is really very suitable for catfish farming and I'm so much inspired about you know this catfish farming that we are dreaming about supplying big department stores for uh, catfish meat and you know this is the future endeavor that we're gonna experience here in our channel and as we go along you will see the ups and downs because I'm honest enough to share with you the ups and downs, the failures and the successes that we're gonna experience along the way. And my way of achieving our goals is to put right here good breeders in order for us to have a massive hatch of this uh, catfish and then grow them in that big property that we have just acquired. So all these that are here are breeder catfish and they are already matured ones and many pregnant catfish are actually here and they're very hungry and they're waiting for their food so we're giving this a floater pellet it's a fish food and uh, this is a good diet for them from time to time if we have this uh, entrails of the chicken and the ducks you can also give them but we have to boil them first uh, with hot water and then and chop this into pieces and you know uh, give them for them to be able to develop good eggs inside the belly they also need this one so just in time that we're filming uh, you'll see that these catfish are voracious really voracious eaters I tried to give them some three to five kilos in just one setting and they consume it out they're really voracious eaters and if you're gonna give them what they want then maybe you will we will spend a lot of money it's not good to overfeed them just the enough food for their bodies in a day and that would be fine just dream with me about this uh, this project because before I have zero knowledge about breeding the catfish now we have been able to produce thousands of this fry of this catfish and I'm so inspired to release them in a bigger space and uh, provide them with you know good environment so that we can also establish a good business well in the old farm I already have tried farming catfish and it works very well but then since this farm is gonna be you know taken out from us by the government so we have to think of any other means in order to advance and even continue and pursue our desire to become prosperous in life so i hope that you are encouraged with this sharing and you know uh, i'd like to you know make a shout out to the members of this channel thanks a lot for your help and please subscribe to our channel if you are not yet subscribed and it's your first time to stumble upon this channel may I humbly ask you to please please subscribe because we're gonna journey together 
and there's gonna be more engaging videos that we're gonna upload in the coming months and i would like to see you in my next video only here at dexter's world